Hello and good evening students. This is our new series of Indian Polity questions for Combined Defense Services CDS exam also useful for APCAT exam. This is the first video in the series. So let's get on to solving those polity questions. Okay. The first question that we have is which article is related to financial emergency? Article 124 Article 360, Article 356 and Article 352. Article 124 is related to the ha Supreme Court of India. Article 360 is related to the financial emergency. Yes, that is our answer. Article 356 is related to state emergency. And Article 352 is related to national emergency. So a quick way to remember this one, these three articles related to emergency, Article 352, 356 and 360. Each of them as a pair have a difference of four between them and the successive article. And 352 is national emergency, N for national, 356 is state emergency, S for state, 360 is financial emergency, so F for financial. So NSF 352, 356, 360. That is how we can remember. The answer is article 360 is related to financial emergency. Second question, who is the deputy speaker of Rajya Sabha? The options are M. Thambidurai, Murli Manohar Joshi, Harivansh Narayan Singh and Sumitra Mahajan. The first option, M. Thambidurai, he is the deputy speaker of Lok Sabha. Murli Manohar Joshi is also not our answer. Sumitra Mahajan is the Speaker of Lok Sabha. And yes, Harivansh Narayan Singh is the Deputy Speaker of Rajya Sabha. Moving on. When was the Indian Constitution adopted? The options are 22nd July 1947, 26 Jan 1950, 26 November 1949 and 26 Jan 1930. Many of you might be thinking it is 26 Jan 1950, but no. That, is, that was when the constitution was enforced or rather some provisions of the constitution which were left out were enforced but the constitution was adopted on 26th November 1949. As you can also check the preamble to the constitution says that we the people of India having solemnly resolved to give to ourselves dot 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 do hereby adopt, enact and give to ourselves this constitution on this 26th day of November 1949. Okay. Who was the president of the Constituent Assembly? The options are M.N. Rao, C. Rajgopalachari, Rajendra Prashad or B. R. Ambedkar. It is not the f uh, first one, M.N. Rao. It is not the second one. It is the third one, Rajendra Prashad. Now, some of you might be thinking B.R. Ambedkar, but no, he was not the president of the Constituent Assembly. He was actually, actually the chairman of the drafting committee. Moving on. Which act formally introduced the principle of election for the first time in India? Options are Government of India Act 1935, Government of India Act 1919, Indian Council Act 1909, or Rural Act 1919. The correct option is option 3. Indian Councils Act. 1909. The British Crown took governance of India directly in its own hands by which act? Charter Act 1833, Government of India Act 1858, Regulating Act of 1773 or the Indian Council Act of 1861. The correct answer is second option, Government of India Act 1858. It was just after the 1857 mutiny, also known as the First War of Independence, and the British Crown decided to take direct interest in the affairs of India and act, enacted this bill so that the Governor General would now be known as the Viceroy and would be directly appointed by the uh, Crown of England and would be an agent of the Crown. Which of these cannot be dissolved? Now these are the houses of parliament or houses of the legislature. The first option is Lok Sabha, also known as the lower house of the parliament, Rajya Sabha, the upper house of the parliament. Third option is Vidhan Sabha or Legislative Assembly. Fourth option is Vidhan Parishad or Legislative Council. Now Rajya Sabha, one third of the members retire every two years. We know that it cannot be dissolved. So that is one of the answers.
सो विधानसभा और लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली इट इज इन ऑल द स्टेट्स फोर्थ ऑप्शन विधान परिषद और लेजिस्लेटिव काउंसिल इट इज नॉट देयर इन वेरियस स्टेट्स लाइक देर आर ओनली फाइव स्टेट्स इफ आई एम राइट विच हैव बोथ द हाउसेज ऑफ द पार्लियामेंट बोथ द हाउसेज ऑफ लेजिस्लेचर आई एम सॉरी सो विधान परिषद और द लेजिस्लेटिव काउंसिल इज द वन विच कैन नॉट बी डिजॉल्व सो राज्यसभा राज्यसभा एंड विधान परिषद और लेजिस्लेटिव काउंसिल दीज टू कैन नॉट बी डिजॉल्व नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच आर्टिकल रिलेट्स टू द लीगल राइट टू प्रॉपर्टी सो द राइट टू प्रॉपर्टी यूज टू बी अ फंडामेंटल राइट एंड इट वॉज अबॉलिश्ड एज अ फंडामेंटल राइट एंड एडेड एज अ लीगल राइट सो द ऑप्शन आर आर्टिकल थ्री हंड्रेड ए आर्टिकल थ्री हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व आर्टिकल टू फोर्टीन एंड आर्टिकल फिफ्टी टू सो आर्टिकल थ्री थ्री हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व इज रिलेटेड टू ऑल इंडिया सर्विसेज द सिविल सर्विसेज आर्टिकल टू फोर्टीन इज रिलेटेड टू द सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया नो सॉरी आर्टिकल टू फोर्टीन इज रिलेटेड टू द हाई कोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया आर्टिकल वन ट्वेंटी फोर इज द वन रिलेटेड टू द सुप्रीम कोर्ट एंड आर्टिकल फिफ्टी टू इज रिलेटेड टू द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया ऑब्वियसली द आंसर इज ऑप्शन वन आर्टिकल थ्री हंड्रेड ए विच इज द लीगल राइट टू प्रॉपर्टी हु वॉज द लॉ मिनिस्टर इन द इंट्रीम कैबिनेट ऑफ इंडिया वेल द ऑप्शन आर जैन मंडल जोगिंदर नाथ मंडल सचिदानंद सिन एंड बी आर अम्बेडकर सरदार पटेल now many of you will be saying b r ambedkar but no he was the first law minister of independent india but the interim cabinet was appointed in 1946 by lord mount batten and in that cabinet the law minister was j n mandal although his term was quite short lived and uh, b r ambedkar was by all rights the law minister of independent india first law minister but here the answer is j n mandal now the first session of the constituent assembly was held in so that was held in bombay pune new delhi or nagpur it was held in new delhi moving on which article relates to the high courts in india well first option is article 40 which relates to directive principle of state policy and specifically the panchayati raj 124 relates to the supreme courts of india 352 relates to the national emergency provision and article 214 is the one which relates to high courts in india next is where has the motto satyamev jayate taken from options are chandogya upanishad mundaka upanishad geeta and ramayan well the correct answer is mundaka upanishad it has been taken from mundaka upanishad moving on who designed the national flag of india options are ani besant m k gandhi pingali venkaiya and c r das well the correct answer is pingali venkaiya he came up with the design of the national flag and he literally had to hound the mahatma to give him a hearing and uh, approve his design so to say and he belonged to andhra pradesh and it was his design that ultimately became our national flag well while we are on the topic of the national flag when was the national flag of india adopted options are 26 Jan 1930, 15 August 1947, 22 July 1947, and 26 Jan 1950. The correct option here is 22 July 1947. That was when the national flag was adopted, a few days before our independence. Obviously, common sense says that otherwise, what we will have, what we will be having to unfurl on the occasion of the national independence. Moving on. by which act was the office of the viceroy of india created the options are government of india act 1935 government of india act 1858 indian councils act 1909 rolet act 1919 so the act by which the office of viceroy of india was created is the government of india act 1858 because as i have already told you in the previous question that was when the british crown assumed the direct control of indian affairs and Take took it away from the British East India Company. Next, the idea of liberty, equality, and fraternity has been borrowed from France, Ireland, UK, or USA. Well, the correct answer is France. And uh, if we look at the other options from Ireland, we took the directive principles of state policy. UK, we took the parliamentary system, and USA, we took the federal government. Now, the last slide. The amendment procedure in the Indian Constitution is based on the 
First option, Government of India Act 1935, Government of India Act 1919, Constitution of South Africa or the Constitution of USA. The answer is the Constitution of USA. That is where the amendment procedure has been taken from. And the last option is concept of concurrent list in India is taken from which constitution? Options are Australia, USA, UK or Ireland. Well, USA, we have borrowed federal government, federal form of government, that provision we have borrowed from them. UK, we have borrowed the parliamentary form of, uh, you know, legislation, parliamentary form of decision making. Ireland, we have taken the directive principles of state policy. So obviously the answer is Australia. Australia is the one which has uh, given us the concept of concurrent list that is those subjects on which both the center as well as the state governments can legislate laws well that is all for the first part of indian polity series for combined defense services and afcat exam this will surely help you if you are a hardcore defense aspirant it will also help you in those other exams government exams management entrance exams or any kind of exams where indian polity or in general GK is a requirement so do share do like and do subscribe to our channel and if you like this do share it with your friends who are also aspirants or who are also studying for something and uh, if you have any suggestions please do note them down in the comments we will surely reply to you and uh, if you have any demands anything that you want us to make new videos on any other subjects any other concepts that you're not clear on please do let us know thank you god bless and godspeed goodbye